you always want to know what kind of audition is happening in that room. And I have found that there are three different kinds of commercials that create three different kinds of auditions. And the three different kinds of commercials are one, the product commercial, which is like the cheese melting off the cheeseburger or the truck driving through the mountains. Don't you wish you had a Hemi 500 or whatever. We don't like those so much as on camera folk because they only hire voiceovers and good for them. Um, but they rarely hire any actors. The product is the actor for that commercial. Then the second kind of commercial is the narrative commercial, which is like a little beginning, middle and end story. Honey, I just spilled something on the couch and the guys are coming over for the big game. What do I do? Don't worry, honey. I have a little spritzer spray that lifts the stain in animation. The guys then show up for the game just in time. Happy day. A little beginning, middle and end story. Then the third kind of audition is your direct pitch audition, which is talking directly to camera as the spokesperson for the product. Now, I have found that these three different kinds of commercials create three different kinds of auditions. And the first kind of audition is the improv audition, which is you sitting down with your spouse talking about F your anniversary dinner, talking about your American Express card, go. And you just basically make up the commercial for them. The second kind of audition is a scripted audition. And in class, we learn what to do exactly with that script. And then that third kind of audition is uh, this kind of audition. So Bill, tell us a little something about yourself. Have we had those before? These are happening more and more often because all they're doing is looking for real people and they're hiring actors as real people. So that audition is to tell us a little something about yourself, real person. Most actors drop the ball on this and they make them up in the moment. Uh, my name is Bill, uh, I'm an actor. And boy, that rained today, right? And that audition is now over. So how do we audition for those? Because for the improv, that's making it up as you go along for the script. In class, we'll learn what to find in that script. But how do we audition for tell us about yourself stories? We have these stories memorized and ready to go. You have to have these stories memorized and ready to go. And here are some helpful guidelines for these stories. They should be 30 seconds or less, definitely less. They should have a beginning, middle and end story structure. The opening line should grab our attention. Rhetorical questions are always really great. Have you ever been to Panama? It forces the listener into the story itself. Advertisers use it all the time. What's in your wallet? Yeah, what is in my wallet, right? You should know your last line. So if you get a little lost, you know where you're going. And the story should always be told in, in vivid pictures, meaning in all five senses, the smell of it, the taste of it, the feel on the skin. It's what the brain kind of picks up on. And also don't be afraid to use poetry or simile. Just make sure to explode the language because all of these are supposedly just off the top of our heads. And the more articulate and fun and humorous you can be, the better the audition. Here are some questions that you should have stories ready for. One, tell us about yourself. Two, tell us what you're doing this weekend. And then three, the series of your favorite blanks. So favorite food, music, TV show, movie, uh, hobby, job, vacation slash road trip. You should have stories for these ready in your back pocket. And we work these stories in class. So you'll have like a full library to be able to pull out whenever you need them. Cause there's nothing more devastating than being in that room again, getting caught by surprise. That's what this class is all about. It's all about making sure that you are ready. Even if you've never auditioned before, that there's a sense of familiarity in the room, that there is a, Oh, right. I knew this was going to happen, even if you've never stepped foot in, or even if you haven't been in an audition room for quite some time. Tell us about yourself stories. Start working on them now. Hey, everybody. My name is Bill Coleus. I teach my commercial class at T. Schreiber Studio. A little background about myself. Uh, so I'm a working actor, and the last national commercial I booked was my 51st national spot. So my class isn't taught by a casting director. It's not taught by somebody who used to do commercials. This is taught by me. And this is everything that I use in my audition rooms that has helped me book 51 national spots and hopefully 51 more before I finish.